for God alone. Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox, and these podcasts are backing up a class series we're teaching in the Thames Valley Churches of Christ in August 2018. The class series is called For God Alone and is all about quiet times. It comes from Psalm 62 verse 1, For God alone my soul waits in silence. Now here's a thought for today. It says in verse 3, and David is questioning his uh, people trying to uh, bring him down, How long will you assail a person, batter your victim, all of you, as you would a leaning wall, a tottering fence? So he's, he's seeing himself there, or at least his enemies see him as a leaning wall, a tottering fence. doesn't need much to push him over. But then also, in verse 4, he says their plan is to bring down a person of prominence which indicates that David sees himself, in a way, as both a weak fence and as a strong man of prominence, because he's, of course, a king. And I suppose, in some ways, what that's showing us is that it doesn't matter whether you consider yourself weak or strong, our enemies are still after us. The devil really doesn't like us being in God's kingdom, doesn't like us being with Jesus and following him. And whether you think of yourself as weak or whether you think of yourself as strong, It doesn't make any difference. You're still going to be attacked. Sometimes people say, well, the devil goes after the weak. And some other people would say, no, he goes after the strong, after the leaders, because then that will weaken the flock. I, I don't know if the devil has a priority or not. But what I do know is it doesn't matter how I think about myself. Whether I think I'm weak or I think I'm strong, I still need God. And David sandwiches these thoughts between his two statements of the fact that God is his rock and his salvation in verse 2 and again in verse 6. Today's quiet time. How about a prayer to see yourself, whether you see yourself as weak or strong, but to see yourself as someone who is in need of that rock and grateful for the salvation that Jesus gives us that we don't have to be shaken today. Until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.